Okay, uh, I think I'm back. Or, well, I'm back, but I think I'm set with uh, this editor. I can't think of anything else that we would need to add to it. So, I guess that means it's time to exit. Alright, now what we're going to do is what we had set out to do last time. I'm going to open up the path here where I happen to have everything, and I'm going to grab the map too. Last time I forgot that. Copy it. <coughs> and create a new folder, call it game, and paste it. Alright, now, we're working with just the game section, so we're going to go through and do what we did last time. going to remove everything that his, is really only associated with the editor. <coughs> Okay, we don't need the minimap. This um, sprite sheet, we need it. We just don't need it here. Um, the code, when I, when I click on it, I want to erase all the code out of it. Um, it needs to be invisible. <clears throat> uh, clicking on the background, I'm going to comment those things out. We don't want it to actually do anything. That was for key down for moving side to side. We don't need the ability to select tiles. Um, what else don't we need? Well, when the when form loads, I'm actually going to get rid of all of this right here. And I want to open up load. I'm going to do this manually. We're actually going to just, no matter what, load the first um, map, I can get rid of draw a mini map too, don't need that. <clears throat> so when the form loads, no matter what, we're going to just open up uh, map.txt. It does draw a screen. Um, there's got to be more stuff here that I'm missing. Oh, this is for picture three. This was the mini map. So I'm going to delete that. And we don't need this either for picture three. We don't need to be able to save. So you know what? I'm gonna erase all of that. <clears throat> Drawing mini map we don't need. Delete that. Um, oh picture three. This was for scrolling on the mini map. We don't need that. Um, picture two mouse down that's when we clicked to create or to place the tile A and tile B values in the editor. We don't need that. Um, yeah, I think that might might be everything. <clears throat> oh, under draw tile, I'm going to comment out these three sections. These three sections were to draw in the circles for the spawn points. We don't need that. Um, anything else? Anything else? Um, oh, here we go. These three buttons were the three buttons on the editor that were um, for placing spawn point for Pac or not Pac Man, huh. the our hero. Delete that, and this was for the enemies spawn point, and this was for the exits spawn point. Those are all gone. Okay, um, I'm going to save and try. I'm going to try loading. Hey, it works. No errors. I can click. I can hit arrow or buttons. Basically, I just try mashing everything. Uh, button mash just to see if I can break it. You know, if it tries to call some function that doesn't exist anymore. Save doesn't do anything anymore. Load um, still asks me to load. So you know what? I need to get rid of that. I'm actually just going to get rid of this whole thing up here. So if I go to Tools Menu Editor, I'm just going to delete all that. Okay, it's not necessary. <clears throat> Alright. So we have that. I can make it wider now. I have more room. And, oh, you know what? I'm going to give you guys some code to uh, make this work a little bit better. If you make this wider, say, if as the window changes, even... It, as we make the window wider, the screen doesn't get wider. 
and as we make it smaller the screen may seem smaller because you can't see as much but actually the screen is all the way out to here and it's still drawing all that extra even though we don't need it so what we're going to do is go into form resize so this is the code for when we're resizing the uh, um, the form and you know what I just remembered that I didn't delete load so let me do that that's all the code for load let's get rid of that just so that it's not cluttering up the rest of this alright so form resize we're gonna say picture one dot width equals form one dot scale width you gotta say scale width for this one because windows is using twips by default so what's gonna happen is if you just say width you're saying that you want your pictures width in pixels because this is in pixels we set that earlier is going to be equal to form one's width in twips and you're gonna wind up with it's gonna be trying to set your pictures width to like you know sixty five thousand or something it's some crazy number so we'll just say scale width and I'm gonna say minus like ten I don't know there's some border there's some that width here of pixels on it either side apparently tens too much say like five now yeah. you know what I'll say two I'm going to say zero. Okay, ignore the whole thing I said about there being <laughs> a certain width to it. Apparently I was wrong. But, uh, you know what? I'm actually going to change it back to minus, like, 20, just so that you can see something. Then I'm going to get rid of it again. As I change the size of this, look at that. It's actually changing the size of the picture. Now, that might not seem all that significant. You say, well, why don't you just make the picture as wide as possible and change the size of the window? Well if I shrink it like this when it's drawing as I would be moving around it is only drawing these tiles it is not drawing stuff that's invisible so we're saving effort if um, this wound up being uh, let's see here the wider this is the more it has to draw as things animate so technically the game would get choppier depending on the computer of course you know if we had more things displayed so um, it does make a difference I would say always whenever it comes to saving effort when you're going to be having a game that's animating you always want to uh, shave off as much of the wasted effort as possible so I'm gonna get rid of that now if I would have uh, left it like this and and made it bigger and smaller you might not have been able to tell that it was actually changing the size so that's why I did that so we have this we need to start putting in our people or put in at least the one guy that we have so I'm going to jump back here to where's our guy here's our guy I guess I can't paste him in yet I need to first make somewhere to put him so a copy and paste of this this is our new spot cut and paste so here's our guy and again it's this is an invisible picture so it doesn't matter where we put it, it's sitting here. I could put in our bad guy now. Oh, yeah, I'll put in our bad guy, why not? What are the other ones? Okay. I should put them all. I really should put them all in. Copy this and paste it. Edit, select all. That's in there. And then finally that little one, which is going to be like the lasers or whatever energy blasts that are shot out of the good guy and the bad guy so you can put it wherever I want okay so these things are all pretty well spaced out so that I can see them here we go and what's next alright let's draw on our guy uh, but, uh, the alarm's going off let me save the video